Well, the, the whole program is to study magnetic reconnection, which is the mysterious process where two magnetic fields annihilate each other, causing acceleration of particles. And I have had uh, a number of my own graduate students work on the theory and data analysis for that process for a similar but less effective mission called CLUSTER uh, that was the precursor to MMS. MMS is going to be able to really understand this process with unprecedented time resolution and spatial resolution. So I'm very eager to get my hands on the real data with my graduate students and, and train the next generation of space scientists. Of course, I'm an old fogey, so <laughs> I, was a, I was a child of the space age. I was seven when Sputnik went up, and um, I always was excited about space. Both my parents were medical doctors. My mother got a medical degree in 1942, so there was no question in my family that I could do anything I had the passion to do. Uh, so I got excited about space science. I got excited about astronomy. I took a father-daughter astronomy course at the local planetarium, and uh, we had a delightful time. And, and so I've always been excited about astronomy. And when I came uh, to Rice, I got a physics degree, and when I came to Rice as a graduate student, um, we just put an experiment on the moon. So I was able to do plasma data analysis from the moon on Apollo 14. And I was in mission control when the last Apollo's blasted off of the lunar surface. So I've been able to see the space program from, you know, day one as a kid uh, and now as a mature scientific research. The most important thing that I tell a student is to find your passion. Find what drives you. Find the topic that gets you up in the morning. Uh, science is not a nine to five job. It's, it's a 24 seven job. And you wake up in the middle of the night and you say, oh, I understand that equation. You need to write down <laughs> a solution and go back to bed. You know, so having a job that you love is the most critical. And it may be science or it may be something completely different. But if science is your passion and if understanding the unknown is what drives you, then that's the exciting thing about space science. Uh, the nice thing is to try many options. When I was in college, I was doing low temperature physics, and I spent a summer at Argonne National Lab doing triple point measurements of liquid helium. And we had to use uh, balanced Tweedstone bridges to get 12 significant digits of the temperature and pressure so we could do second derivatives accurately. And so most of my summer was spent waiting for the system to settle down so we could take this 12 significant digit measurement. And, you know, at the end of the summer, I said, I'm not doing anything else to 12 significant digits. I want to go out and find the first digit. You know, I want to go someplace where we've never been and see things we've never known uh, rather than trying to, you know, improve on a measurement that, that people have known for years. So. Um, that's where the passion lies, and if, if you have the passion, that's when you are successful.